Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. With week 4 unlocked, I decided to hop on my main character and see if I can beat the ultimate Forsaken Giant in one human. Time to do my 2 weeks old main quest, he was here. Very cool intro cinematic of the boss as usual, at first I ran around like an idiot not knowing how to dodge stuff but after I died like 4 times or so, I thought I finally got it. Sadly, I had to go repair. Well, I went to base, fully repaired my stuff, mined some tungsten for the best ammo I was willing to waste, buffed up with weak spot damage, food and mods and yeah, I hoped on my undergeared character will manage this time. So when you enter the fight as usual, you need to damage the boss to start the fight. His first ability, when his shoulder gets red and raises his fist, dodge because he's about to slam the ground on your location, like this. <laughs> and not only that, but if you get hit by his fist, you'll also get hit by its shockwave, like this. <laughs> so it's double the fun, I tell you. Dodge his fist and jump over the shockwave, if you are in range, that is. Then he crosses his arms like he's praying. <laughs> Don't believe him, it's time to hit that shoulder, I tell you. Then he opens the hands with the red glowy one. That's the sign you need to get out of the way the opposing side of the stage. So in this case his left arm is glowy, I move to my left. So you stay on the inside near the flowers and dodge it, or on the outside a bit further back. You can also shoot his palm weak spot during this time, but usually I'm busy running in this stage. <laughs> Just hit his weak spots whenever you can. There is a cap of damage or something in this fight, uh, sometimes I can do more damage even if the weak spot is still active. Or is bugged, I have no idea really and the game doesn't tell me. Then he puts his palms on his face and starts crying. See, I, I do 45 damage. It means I, I reached the, the damage cap for this phase, I don't know. When he does this animation, you can pick one of his tears from the ground and drink it laughing maniacally. I'm kidding, you pick it up with F and throw it back to his face and stun him for a few seconds. I don't do that often for some reason, I prefer to hit the spot because picking those up seem a bit buggy, as you can't pick them up all the time. And then it's pretty much rinse and repeat for this stage, another slam on the ground, another MLG pro dodge. <laughs> Then he wipes the floor because I shot on it last time I got hit. Then I realize I barely damaged the thing. Oh my god. My build is so bad for this guy as I shoot so slow, reload slow, I need to aim for 3 seconds to get a boost in damage. And with all the stuff happening I am scared to aim. Now he summons a beefy guy. I usually put my deviation on him to keep it preoccupied, you know. At this point he marks you and disappears. When he comes back, the red beam on your back vanishes, the platform you stand on will be the target of a huge slam, be sure to be out of it by the time it hits, so stay near the edge and when he pops up, move to the other platform, ASAP. He always hits the middle of the one he saw you when he appeared. Each platform can take two hits, the third hit destroys it. So <laughs> whatever you do, don't destroy the middle obvious reasons. You don't want to get stranded on one side or the other. At this point he's doing a real slam because his shoulder got glowy. Don't confuse the two. Then a swipe. I somehow got hit by it, god bless. And again it's rinse and repeat. When he's below half HP and cries, blazer beams come out of the ground. Don't stay in them because they slow you and do damage of course. It's looking really shady, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I could have gone closer to the flowers to try to stop getting knocked back, but I was scared that will throw me into the pit below and kill me. So this is why I take every slap with stoicism like that. And if you fall off the platform, you'll die for good. So that means the fight will get reset, you know, and this is why I didn't want to die that way. But I somehow do it, remember to loot, take the Nutcracker Divine if it drop for you and I don't know, drop a like or a comment, I'm curious how easy you guys beat this guy. And tell me, should I change my setup? Anyway, good loot on him, he can drop any mod as far as I know, so you can farm him if you can do it without wasting too many consumables like I did. I hope this helped you and until next time, take care and see ya.